Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody had uh, a great weekend. Uh, hopefully you guys had a really good trading day. Um, t today was just, it was just about beta, okay? It was about beta. Um, you know, we, we were talking about it today uh, in the live webinar that not only was today a, a very, very aggressive session, I think everybody uh, who trades these things kind of <laughs> kind of agree with that, it's how how smooth they actually went today. There, there wasn't, you know, usually you put on a pivot, it goes up a dollar if it's you know if it's very very strong, comes out, remounds, dances a little bit, and then it kind of finds its way to uh, the pot of gold. And if, if you look at uh, the pivots today, it, incredibly number one, incredibly aggressive. Again, we went through uh, over the weekend video all the call buying uh, that was going on. BYND, we'll talk about that really good move there. Uh, in in uh, Amazon, again, we'll talk about that. Uh, all these big call buyers there as well, but it, it wasn't just about one stock. Like if, if you look at last week, it was all dominated by Tesla, right? Up Tesla, down Tesla, and then towards the end of the week, you started Tesla getting into tighter channels. We'll talk about that in a second. A little bit tighter channels, again, uh, comparable to you know comparable to normalcy. Uh, but what I like what you saw today was the money flow and the exaggeration today was spread out. Okay. In Beyond, uh, in Roku, in Amazon, Nvidia went bananas, absolutely bananas. Uh, Netflix had a move. Google is still very strong. Even Apple is attempting. Okay, we'll get to that uh, into tomorrow. Please be there. Morning strategy tomorrow. Apple's very, very close. Just needs to confirm to kind of join the party. But you kind of really get a good sense of no matter how high the market's going, and it's going really, really aggressively, really, really linear. But what I like, what I'm seeing is, is the people that are playing these things are defending bottom ranges. Again, we talked about, if you watched uh, the previous video just last night, um, you could say how majority of these stocks were sitting on the bottom channels. And, and you got to love what the bulls are doing. They're defending their bottom channels and not only are coming out of these channels, they're exploding, right? They're absolutely exploding. So they're almost taking out two, three days worth of consolidation on one candle to start setting a new range. So very, very strong, you know, incredibly strong uh, tape. Um, I don't think anybody can, to, to, can, um, can dispute that, uh, but I really, really like how smooth the action was today. Uh, the continuation patterns, the, um, the, the dips, okay, the dips in these charts. Uh, and quick announcement, just in case we, we go lower before I forget. Um, we, we designed something, I know a lot of you guys, especially starting out, you know, and a lot of guys can't uh, afford you know, more money than you can you actually spare, especially getting into, uh, getting into this business the right way in the first place, you know, funding your account, getting a right broker, commission structure, all that stuff. Uh, but we did, uh, I, tweeted out, uh, I tweeted out our main account. Uh, we took all three of the, the, the PS60 workshops. Again, if you, we've been demonstrating these pivots now for, for years. It's not like a one, two, three year thing. Um, I've been trading now for almost 21 years. We've been doing now these pivots for almost nine. So it's been a really, really good. And again, I'm, I'm, I see these things all real time. It's not like you're sitting there and digesting these things and analyzing them later. You can see just by going, you know, going through the feed. You can just see it's all in real time, very, very aggressive. So if you wanted to take advantage of, uh, we we cut the price for a very, very short period of time significantly. Uh, you get all three of the workshops, uh, all three of the workshops, one, two, and three. Uh, and you get a complimentary uh, month in the live webinar if you decide uh, if you decide to act. So again, if, you, if pivots are for you and you want to trade these things, it's an incredible uh, incredible way to kind of get in your foot in the door, kind of build a foundation, see uh, if pivots are right for you. Again, just a quick uh, service reminder. Uh, so let's talk about today, right? Very very aggressive. Um, it started out actually. And if you look at the feed today, you know, kind of give you a perfect example. If, if you look at the feed today, you're, you're seeing a lot of names that we trade, but you're also seeing a lot of names that we don't trade, at least, you know, at least, uh, you know, for the most part. And it was a great mixture of very, very, at least initial, right? At least initial uh, aggressive action, these things. Uh, bidders were taking out previous day's highs, previous channels. So it's super duper important. So it, again, 
when you hear people talk about buy the dips, they're not buying the dip into weakness. They're actually buying the dips in defending prices on 60 minute channels. There's a big, big difference. One is defending the sentiment. One is defending the uptrend. So it's very, very important to understand what. And again, if you just look through the feed, just, I mean, something for everybody. You had, you had beta, right, to the short side. You had beta to the long side. You had $15 stocks. You had $25 stocks. You had $13 stocks. Um, so again, it, it really does prove the point that you don't need to trade Tesla. You don't need to trade Amazon uh, to trade the PS60 process. You could trade anything under the sun as long as there's a range, right? This includes Bitcoin, uh, this includes uh, futures, Forex, whatever the case may be. As long as it has organic tons of volume and tons of range, you could trade whatever you sight, in sight. You, you could do these with small caps as long as they have range, mid caps, uh, so forth and so on. So uh, again, no, nothing materialistically uh, to report to kind of derail the market. No really new uh, political front, no really new uh, coronavirus. It was all about meat and potatoes, technical analysis, and again, the bulls uh, really showing the bears uh, who's in control. So let's talk about this. So uh, this morning, I know a lot of you guys woke up and you saw that Forbes article. Uh, again, Google can buy Tesla and blah, blah, blah. The stock went to 800 and, you know, Twenty dollars a share, right? Pre-market was up like sixty, uh, you know, like sixty, seventy bucks. Um, I, I, I didn't like the upside. I just didn't. I, I think any time you get a materialistic fact, that's one thing. You get um, company guidance, that's one thing. You get an upgrade, that's one thing. When you get a Forbes article, okay, it's like you know, uh, okay, you get a Forbes article. So uh, we talked about seven eighty two rise in support on the sixty minute. If it builds below, it can flush. And, and again, this is where. Uh, again, having an open mind, having a really, really good open mind and no bias coming into the session, uh, really, really important. And, uh, you know, here is the 682, right? This whole channel right here. Here's 682. These, you know, all these channels, one, two, three, four, five. So you had five hours worth of data. And again, granted, some of the data came out at four o'clock in the morning when people started seeing this article and started trading on the ECNs. But this is real, right? This is, again, people ask me all the time, does pre-market and after hours matters? Absolutely. The more data you collect, the better you'll have to make an intelligent decision. And once it lost that 582, just, just destroyed. I mean, absolutely destroyed. It put up a $30 candle. I mean, an absolute, I mean, a $30 candle, it's insane. Absolutely insane. So for all you guys who took the trade, uh, great job. I mean, just a big, big move on Tesla. Uh, SDC, and again, I, I said this jokingly, I said this jokingly in the live webinar, and I said, if this damn thing, if I don't make money on this thing, right? So far, I think I've traded SDC three times. I made money on on a bounce, and I had two break-even trades. Literally, I think I traded three times. It just trades awful. So I said, look, if this damn thing doesn't build, I'm never going to trade this thing again. Here's the punchline. Uh, it built over the 15, right? The stock spiked up. Not a lot, right? Not a lot. The good thing about it is... It is thick, so you can you can do a little bit of size on it. So I, we, we kind of knew it, the first move was going to be into the 30s, only because it's Bollinger Band. If you look at the high of the day, 1530. So I sold the stock on the way up. And my last piece, I used break even as my stop, and I sold it, and then I watched the stock go right on the day. I am officially retiring from the SDC game. I don't care about it anymore. If this thing can't rally on, you know three-week distribution what are we talking about here it's a complete waste of time um so sdc made some money on it don't want to talk about it again uh bynd was actually a really really good trade uh initially i put 121 121 50 needs to build we can stretch out the 24s and then there was a sneaky pivot right there was a sneaky pivot right over here uh where is it where is it? where is it so here's where we took the trade right here's where we took the trade sneaky pivot uh, 1980, 120, uh, Friday's high is 2052. If it fails, that obviously use break even. Uh, I got long on the 120 break and the stock exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded. This is now uh, two days in a row. And again, let me show you guys where I mean by the sneaky pivot, right? So here was the sneaky pivot right over here. You see this high right here? This high here, right here is 1942. So again, I try to get as close as possible to the whole number. So it took out the 1980, 1920 uh, area and it exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded. First move was like, 
a uh, dollar and change, but it could just continue to move up to almost 23. Again, just a strong stock, strong trader. Again, he's starting, again, seeing more uh, call buying come in the stocks, but here's where the really big moves happened. Again, you, you can see how much was going on today. Amazon, uh, it opened up, you know, below, you know, 20, 85, 20, whatever it is. I said, look, 2092 is a sneaky area on the pre-market highs. 2100 macro if it, if it reclaims can go again we talked about the 2400 call buyers the 2700 call buyers today was all over the place 2200 2300 in size and this was a phenomenal move i mean absolutely phenomenal move uh on amazon as well so here is the 2092 pre-market highs right here's the 2092 pre-market highs here was friday's highs is 2099 once it took out 2100 i mean the first move was 25 points First move was 25 points. I still think tomorrow stock closed in the, in the 2130s. I, I, I think you'll see 2200, 2300, 2400 maybe in a couple of months, but this thing has the ability to actually go parabolic. I mean, like really, really parabolic. It's been such a sleeping giant for such a long time. And again, it started out so innocently. You guys remember that on, on Friday? It started out off the sneaky pivot here, 2060. And now we're, you know, now we're talking about 75 points higher. Really big move on Amazon. Uh, great job there. Uh, Billy went pre-market, went from 25 and a half to 26, 20s. Nobody had a really chance to trade this thing. Uh, RAD, we highlighted this thing on uh, over the weekend's email. Uh, 1330 needs to build. Uh, big move on Rite Aid. Really, really big move on Rite Aid. Here was the 1330, right? 1330, it went, it went all the way up to 1450. Just a big, big move on Rite Aid. Uh, NVIDIA was the strongest move of the day. NVIDIA, uh, 253, 70, 254 needs to build. Again, th here's where it turned a sneaky pivot into an, an, an absolute assault on bears. So here is the 20, here, here's right here. Here's the, two, here's the 254, right? This whole sneaky pivot here. Again, guys, in all these workshops, we cover the sneaky pivots. It's so important to have an edge. Uh, you, again, you don't need to buy in the top and sell on the bottom. There's areas in the middle that are so important that you can take advantage of. So uh, 254, I mean, I, you can't even see where the candle is. I mean, it went 10 points higher. I just say huge move in the video. I mean, absolutely huge move on NVIDIA. SYNA never got up to 84 and 85 and a half. And I, and I said this also, and I kept on reiterating the point, man. If you're a new trader, just leave Tesla alone. It, it's just not for you. And there's so much better and safer value out there on our feed. And you can see just from the results how strong and aggressive uh, without you know having a 20-point swing within a minute um, so again, initial supply here on Amazon, Nvidia, Amazon went nuts. Uh, Netflix actually gave a move today. Uh, 372 needs to build. Uh, I, I still think it, you know, I still think it trades kind of funky. Um, but again, here's the 372. It went to like 374.80. Uh, I think it's a couple of days away, maybe tomorrow, uh, by taking out these 52 week highs, but a strong move, uh, nevertheless. Um, here comes the 2150 calls. Uh, beyond, just perfect. Netflix is giving a trade, new highs, Tesla. And I said, yeah, Tesla came very close, by the way. Tesla came within a couple of bucks of, of going red. I mean, this was a $30 pivot, really, really strong pivot there as well. Uh, AAL has nothing to do with the pivots, but you guys see this AAL uh, buyer that came in, right? A, a guy came in for. He put in a premium of 13.7, almost $14 million on the March 20, uh, on the March, uh, on the March, I forgot what, I forgot, I forgot to put in what, uh, if you, if you go, you'll see uh, big, big bet on the, on the put market on uh, AAL, just kind of a side note, uh, Rite Aid, blah, 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 um, and that's it, and that's it, so um, very, very aggressive day, okay, very, very aggressive day. Uh, tomorrow, again, I believe we will have um, some good value for tomorrow. I mean, you can just see uh, on the setups today, I, you know, very good setups. Let me give you guys some uh, non-beta names uh, that I do like for tomorrow. Uh, SPCE, we saw that really big buyer jump in uh, on the January 2021-25 calls, $2 million premium. Uh, it uh, exploded through this 20. Uh, I think tomorrow, if you start building... 2080, 21. You should get a, um, you should get a continuation. The value here is obviously uh, a 60 minute flush into rising support. Looks good here. Peds broke out today as well. Uh, Peds broke out again. 60 minute. If you get a, try to get a 60 minute dip uh, into rising support or a build above 29, that looks good. 
Uh, IQ is waking up here as well. Uh, IQ looks good. It's the inter it's the Netflix of China. Okay. Uh, if this thing starts building, you know, 25 and a half, 25, 60 is it can go higher as well. So keep an eye on that. Um, I do like for tomorrow, Apple and Facebook. They're very, very close. Pequeño, small, 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 small size left to kind of clear out the, the, the channels. Um, so I want to watch Apple tomorrow. And I definitely want to watch Facebook tomorrow. Those could actually be the better bets, the value bets, but still love the video on dips, still love uh, BYND on dips, still love Amazon. And again, Amazon's a beast. Any, any, uh, any weakness is going to be bought on the rising 60 minute support. So guys, please get to morning strategy early. We'll talk about all uh, the pivots. And again, if you want to try out uh, the pivots on the workshops, especially a month in the live webinar, um, you should do so. I mean, this is a, a, an absolutely completely different way of looking at the markets. And once you start looking at the 60 minute channels and through supply and demand, it's going to be very, very hard to trade the quote unquote normal way. Guys, have a great night, everybody. I'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.